Hi, I'm Sean Cooper. I'm playing Tom Davenport, the district attorney. He is co-counsel with uh, Matthew Harrison Brady, and he is absolutely starstruck to be sharing the courtroom with a three-time presidential candidate, not to mention the fact that he is locking horns with one of the country's foremost defense attorneys. This is absolutely the, a feather in his career, and uh, he doesn't want to do anything to mess this case up. Um, well, actually, I got a theater degree from the University of Maine in 1994, and um, I've been doing theater off and on since I graduated from there. I've done uh, a number of productions in uh, Maine. I did a couple for the Hub Theater in Boston, which my friend and former college roommate had co-founded, and um, did a show over at the uh, Providence Fringe a couple months ago. I did uh, a local community show, uh, Blythe Spirit, and played Charles Condamine, and I'm very excited to be doing this show right now. Well, I wanted to be part of this show because I mean, it is one of the um, great dramatic works of the 20th century. I'm very interested in the subject material, and I do feel like it has a lot of frightening relevance uh, with the world today. And um, also, my wife talked me into auditioning. <laughs> um, my favorite line of the show is, I can't really say I have a favorite line, my favorite part of the entire show is the uh, interplay between Drummond and Brady. Um, it is really well written dialogue, the back and forth between the characters is, is amazing, and I think the two actors who are playing uh, the defense and prosecuting attorneys are really amazing and it's really exciting to watch the two of them work together. Describe my character as a. Um, he was a youngish, moving on to middle ages uh, district attorney who has never really had a, an exciting career, and suddenly this drops into his lap. He's very excited. His co counsel is a national figure. Uh, he's locking horns with a defense attorney with a national reputation. Um, but overall, I think that he's approaching this in a very lawful, neutral fashion. He's not interested in the biblical ramifications. He's not interested in Darwin. It's really just very cut and dried. Did Bertrand Cates break the law or didn't he? He's only interested in finding him found guilty and after that he's not really interested in the strength of the penalty. Uh, he only just wants to win the case and um, be able to put that feather in his cap. Um, to prepare for this role, uh, I had read up a little bit on the case itself. Um, the people tend to think that the play and the actual case are very closely related, but actually there's a lot of uh, significant departures between the two. Uh, it, it, the, the authors, that's why the authors changed the name of all the characters. They were going for a dramatic effect and not a historical one. And I think it's a better play for it. It's a play about ideas. It's not about a historical event, but uh, about ideas. If I could play one other role in this show, um, I really like this role, and um, I couldn't really imagine myself doing anything else. Uh, I kind of like the role of the judge. I would like to shout at people and bang a gavel. <laughs> Uh, my experience with ACT has been a very positive one. I've had a lot of great people. I've really enjoyed working with them. I think there's some great actors in this company. I'm very excited to be in this production, and I can't wait to see the finished product. You know, is there anything else I'd like to say about the show? Not really. I mean, I've, I've had a very good time doing this. Uh, it's unfortunate I live so far away in Bridgewater. It's a long drive back and forth. Uh, I don't know if I'd be able to come this far for any future productions to act in them, but I will definitely drive the distance to come and see them.